Okay, so we have a question here. I am 29 years old and I have not married yet. I always ask Allah to bless me with a righteous husband who would help me in religion and in life. I am sure that Allah will answer my prayer soon. I know all the preferable times in making dua. I am very tired because of remaining unmarried. I keep asking Allah knowing that He is the most generous, the most bounteous. But I fear my sins. I fear my dua is not being answered because of my sins. What shall I do? Please advise me. Okay, Allah says in the Quran in Surah An-Nisa, فَأَسَىٰ أَن تَخْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَيَجْعَرَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا It may be that you dislike a thing, and Allah brings through it a great deal of good. Also in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَأَسَىٰ أَن تَخْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَأَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ and it may be that you dislike a thing which is good for you and that you like a thing which is bad for you. And Allah knows, but you do not know. Sister, you should bear in mind that what you have to do is to be content with your situation and realize that what Allah has chosen for you is the best. And you missing out on something may be a good thing. Always comfort yourself with the words of the Messenger of Allah in which he said, how wonderful is the situation of a believer, for all his affairs are good. If something good happens to him, he is thankful for it, and that is good for him. And if something bad befalls him, he bears it with patience, and that is also good for him. This does not apply to anyone except to the believer. Sabr plays a big part here. You have to have patience and seek the reward from Allah. You should also realize that all matters are in the hands of Allah and that the delay in getting married may be better for you. We may not know the reason and the wisdom behind it right now at the present moment. And this delay may ultimately lead to something good that Allah has prepared for you. Just like what Allah says, فَأَسَىٰ أَن تَخْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَيَجْأَرَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا It may be that you dislike a thing and Allah brings through it a great deal of good. And so you should be optimistic and expect good things to happen. Always have good expectations of Allah. In one of the Hadith Qudsi, Allah says, Ana in the dhanni abadibi. I am just as my slave thinks I am. This statement means that I am able to do whatever my slave expects me to do. Expecting the best from Allah is to expect that He will have mercy on us and relieve us of hardship. This means that Allah will answer us if we make dua and will give us if we ask for something. So we should turn to Allah with dua and increase righteous deeds. Have what is called sabaran jamila or beautiful patience. A statement which we can find in the Quran. Fasbir sabaran jamila. So be patient with beautiful patience. The beauty of sabr is when regardless of how hard life gets, you remember wholeheartedly that Allah has beautiful things in store for you. And so do not despair. Remember that Allah is those who are patient. Inna Allah ma'asabirin. Indeed, Allah is with those who have patience. And that the mercy of Allah is close to those who do good. Wala'u alam and Allah knows best.